coach both Halliday and Tool saw playing time last week against Oregon State. What has separated Halliday from Tool this week heading into Saturday? Uh, part of it, he moves around the pocket a little better and then uh, in big plays, he got on a roll and threw for a bunch of yards. I think that's the biggest difference. Just really good, though. You talked about <laughs> the leadership. You're disappointed in the team. What are you looking at at that? Well, the biggest thing, most of our leadership is coming from younger guys. Now, we do have some key seniors that really do a good job. Uh, and it's interesting <laughs> that... Uh, uh, that uh, as somebody told me about a quote was taken out of context, which certainly wouldn't be the first time they've taken something I said out of context. Uh, but at any rate, uh, no, we got some seniors doing a good job. We got a whole bunch of them, as I said, are dead corpses. And uh, so you can either uh, breathe life in yourself and get out there and play, or you can, uh, uh, you know, we got a bunch of younger guys that are stepping up and playing hard. So. Talking about breathing life into them, what is separating this team from a win? It missed opportunities. I mean, we, we've, we've had chances, and then, you know, things will go well, and then we'll fade, or things that we don't respond to adversity. We need to embrace adversity. If you don't embrace adversity, you're not going to improve. And, and right now we struggle with that because everybody that's gotten here and everybody that's that's here on this roster has gone through ad adversity to get here. You know, they became starters wherever they came from. They, they defeated other people wherever they came from. They worked to develop their skills wherever they came from. And all that's adversity, and uh, well, and they need to embrace it and do that here. That's what got them here. And so, uh, you know, if they want to be productive here, that's what's got to happen. Cal looked different at all <coughs> looking at the UCLA game than they did in previous weeks, or did uh, they just play better? Played together. I thought they played together better. You know, with uh, Connor, the first few starts, was there any concern about maybe him looking over his shoulder at all? And now that kind of keys have been handed to him a little bit more. Do you feel like that can help him confidence-wise or anything like that? Uh, I don't know. I think that, you know, it's uh, the biggest thing. You go out and play the best you can, and that's where really the focus needs to be. He's done a lot of good things, and uh, but has, you know, a lot of, a long ways to go, like everybody. So. How's he look this week? I thought he's looked good. You surprised, you know, the offense <coughs> midway through the season to have a game like you guys did last week? Well, we should, we certainly shouldn't have, and, and we certainly had plenty of opportunities too. Uh, and we got to play better up front. You know, it, it was all a combination of, uh, you know, we're, we're, we go out there and play with eight guys to play, and eight guys to play, you're, you're not going to be real productive. You know, you might make something happen here and there, but you're not going to have consistency, and that's what we really lack is consistency. Is it that much more important this week coming off a game like that to get started and have something good to feel about, you know, in the first few minutes, first drive or so? Well, we need to quit. You know, we sit and we worry about the results all the time or, you know, the setting, situation. You know, no, no. we got to worry about individual plays. Did we invest ourselves, play the best we could in, in our individual plays? And, and, you know, embrace the process instead of, you know, uh, we're going to adjust how we play or our outlook on something based on this, that, and the other thing. I, I mean, uh, we can't go out there with clouded minds, just focus on the play at hand and, and, and execute it to the best of our ability. Then after that, regardless of the, the result, no matter whether it was bad or how good it was, then go out and do it again.